Our last provider had a very heavy footprint. I think too many promises were made and it, they didn't quite pan out in regards to the features that they offered. So, I mean, it was very refreshing. We, we got what we asked for and, you know, we have that solid relationship with uh, Claridge now. The added benefit, so beyond just, you know, getting that really insightful data, being able to tag it, make it sense of it, and um, be able to disseminate from that what we can do to, you know, give it to our third uh, external vendors or stakeholders, VPs, etc. Um, is also the fact that it's just easy to imp build templates, to implement, uh, just to learn the system itself. It's very user friendly. We actually tested it within our environment, which is amazing because it really gave us an idea of, you know, uh, pain points that we would see, like, or that we could fix internally within the software that it would allow us to uh, pretty much change it and simplify it so that the agents can get through a workflow as fast as possible but also give the best customer experience humanly possible uh, within that environment. And from there, uh, we kind of made our last minute tweaks and had the end environment at which point in time we went to, were able to go live immediately. I think the whole process took around a month and a half, including demo, uh, trial, and uh, go live. So it was very quick. Uh, it's, it's as quick as you, you want it to be, as long as you're prepared for it. I have a, someone in my team internally that assists me, like she does basic scanning, but I do uh, trend analysis reporting, micro-trending. Um, I kind of guide the agent benchmarking tools as well. How is our second site doing versus our first site, comparing the two, uh, knowing what KPIs they need to get to where our old team used to be so that we can say, hey, this new site, is good to go, we can hire more of those and that helps us with re regards to fixed costing, you know, saving money, uh, saving uh, operational costs. Um, I mean, the, the amount of functionality and things I do with it, it's kind of endless. I mean, I, I could be doing an ad hoc report on one, one day for one department, something else for another department. It's like, hey, can you use listening to see what our competitors are doing in a vacuum environment? And I you know, try to pull whatever data I can from there. So uh, really it's gonna be maybe your go-to thing if you're in a social media environment. We use heavily the Spanish and even the French language pack because we deal with Canadian consumers that uh, are in Canada and speak French. Um, Spanish is the bulk of the traffic that we use in terms of language packs, um, specifically because you have a huge Spanish demographic, uh, speaking demographic uh, within the United States that purchases our product. I think the big ones is understanding our, what our ag vendor agents are doing when they're doing. We had no insight on that on our last SMM vendor, not to say that it wasn't possible, just to say that the product comes in Included with that feature uh, with Clarabridge with CX Social, so that's uh, incredible. Um, we had no insights as to what our staffing looked like, uh, when we needed agents to answer during what times. It was uh, very difficult for us to do so. But the real wins are the information that we could give to our stakeholders and also uh, some of the interesting pilots we've been able to release, our dedicated e-care line, being able to reduce our average handle time to 15%. That's great. These are amazing metrics that help not only ourselves, but our call center as well. If you really want to focus on the needs of consumers, um, yes, you can do publishing and you know your marketing needs, but it is a customer experience tool first and foremost and a publishing tool afterwards. And that means more to me than anything. Being able to properly service our customers is unparamount, is the most important thing that Shark Ninja needs to do as a company.